on this episode, I'm going to make these cylinder caps from scratch using cast iron round bar. Welcome to the Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. Start work turning the front covers on the lathe. These are being turned from 45mm cast iron round. Once the blank is turned round, I check the diameter and then set the digital readout. Once I'm at final diameter, I clean up the front face and switch tools to cut the relief in the outside of the cover. The final step is to shamp for the corner before parting the cap off. The parting tool is then zeroed on the front face of the part. As I'm parting off, I also cut the register, which will fit inside the cylinder. With the turning complete on the front covers, I turn my attention to the rear covers, starting once again with a piece of cast iron round. Once again I set the digital readout before roughing out the part. Once all the parts are roughed out, I shamp for all the corners before drilling the hole for the stuffing box. I start with a spotting drill, followed by a drill to suit the thread I'm cutting. These rear covers have the piston rods passed through them, and this stuffing box will stop the steam escaping from the cylinder. We'll cover the packing and the nut for this in a later episode, but for now the next step is to drill a hole for the piston rod. I cut the thread, starting with a taper tap. This is then followed by a bottoming tap. This cuts the threads closer to the bottom of the hole. The difference between a taper tap and a bottoming tap is the teeth go closer to the end of the tap. The silver tap here is a bottoming tap and the gold one's a taper tap. The digital reader can now be zeroed for the parting tool, followed by parting off the part. For these I've chosen not to cut the register with the parting tool. Instead I'll flip the part and turn the register with the part held in the chuck. This makes access a lot easier and allows the register to be test fitted. Once the register is close with the digital readout, I give it a check before making the final cut. I follow this by test fitting the part on the register while the part is still on the lathe. This means I can adjust it if it's too snug. In this case it fits well, so I give it a quick clean up with some emery cloth before removing it from the lathe. The next step is to head over to the mill, where I'll cut the remaining features on the cover. For this I'll be using the rotary table. I'll be cutting an offset curve so I have my toolmaker's vice set up on the rotary table, offset by the radius required. I then have a collet block located in that, 
which will allow the part to be flipped 180 degrees. You also may have noticed I've got a fixture located in the collet. This allows the part to be held securely. To make small cuts of about half a millimetre at a time, Once one side's complete, I flip the collet block and repeat the process. Once both sides are complete, I remove the part from the collet block. Then it's over to the bench, where I use a 90 degree die grinder with a sanding disc to clean up the part. Once the part's cleaned up, it's back to the mill, where I've swapped the rotary table for the machine vise. I cut two flats, which will be the mounting points for the slide rails which the crosshead will run on. The next job is to switch to a drill chuck, so I can drill the holes for mounting the slide bars. These will be drilled and tapped. Once both sides are complete, it's time to drill the PCD or bolt hole circle. This is done using the digital readout. If you want a detailed explanation of how this works, check out my video on making the cylinders. I will pop a link up in the top right hand corner. I machined the same bolt holes on the front covers as well, and these are the final covers. For small parts, these certainly had a lot of processes. As usual, they look deceptively easy, until you break them down into individual processes and setups. I look forward to completing the shared steam chest in an upcoming episode. I really enjoyed making these parts, and I hope you enjoyed seeing them come together as well. Please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.